All right, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Uh, last trip, we caught a few, few nice sea bass, nothing to bring home. Sea bass doesn't open for another, I think two or three weeks, unfortunately, because a couple of them would have been good eaters, but still on the look for some fluke. 56 degrees is the water temp. Not the best, you want it closer to 60, but let's see what we could do. We're gonna have outgoing tide. We're between moon phases, so I think the drift is gonna be real slow. We have to use some light tackle. I don't know how good it'll be for the bite. Usually fish like to feed in a heavier tide. But we'll see, we got a little bit of a southwest wind, wind with the tide. Maybe that'll move us along a little bit. Will it help? I guess we'll find out. So if you like this video, hit that like button, leave a comment, and please subscribe if you haven't already. There's a ton of bluefish around. Once we get past these little lobster pots, crab pots, whatever they are, I'm gonna toss this little SP minnow behind us and just kind of troll it. Maybe we'll get a nice bluefish. All right, we're gonna toss this thing out behind us. So the drag set real loose. In case it, something takes, doesn't rip the rod out of the rod holder. Put a little bit of line out. So get it back behind the boat a little bit and boom. Let's just hope we get something. I'm going to catch a nice gator blue. I don't like to eat them, but it'd be fun to catch one. That didn't take long. Tighten this drag up. Literally in the rod holder for like maybe 10 seconds. Heard the drag starting to go. Probably a little bluefish. Big bluefish. You gotta be real careful with these things, man. They got a mouthful of teeth. Come here. Just only my pliers out. Back in the water. That was fun. A little pre-trip warm-up. So last trip we actually used the same exact gulp the entire trip. Which is pretty rare. Sometimes you could hardly go an entire drift without losing a, a single gulp. Oh, one ounce funky bucktail. 25 pound fluorocarbon leader, 15 pound braid, Dio BG3000, St. Croix Mojo Inshore, seven foot medium power and fast action. Oh, man. I just hope this fish. I don't think we're gonna really have to do much pedaling, I'm hoping. The last time we had to do a constant pedal into the wind because it was like a pretty good like westerly wind, southwest. That's what we have today, but it's a lot lighter. Drifting pretty quick. 
Might have to. Dang. Ooh, there we go. Little sea bass. Definitely a little sea bass. Actually, very nice sea bass. Dang, it's too bad we can't keep these freaking things. That is two and a half pound sea bass. Get them in the sun. Very nice colors. Just three weeks shy. When we can actually keep these things, I think I gotta actually look it up. I'll do that drift again. It's fun catching those things, but we're looking for fluke today. What was I doing? I waited too long. He's back. Oh, there we go. No. No. Big sea bass. Well, I don't know about big, but definitely a nice sea bass. Definitely a nice sea bass. He's still bending that rod pretty good, and he's almost up. Definitely a very healthy sea bass. Oh yeah. Two and a half pounder. Normally, like I say, on every big sea bass like this, his ass would go in the cooler, but A, we don't have a cooler bag, and B, it's not the season yet. But it's nice to see some bigger fish. Last year we didn't have as many big fish over here. Very nice. Don't hold him out of the water too long. Oh man, what I'd give to catch a fluke right now. Fingers crossed. Water temps are still pretty cold though. That's the only thing that sucks. This bluefish just jumped. Maybe get one of those underwater cameras. Imagine there's like just a whole cloud of them down there, like just fluke, and they're just like, nah. Nah, it's not the right temperature, guys. We can't eat this thing. Gotta wait like two and a half more degrees and we'll swallow these bucktails up again. It'd be cool to know what's down there, but I think those cameras are like $300. It suck to get snagged up in the structure or something and wind up losing that. I will probably won't use like a heavy mono leader. Let's go. Come on, I need a fluke. Give me a nice fluke. Just one fluke. So we have a real mixed bag today. I don't care how big it is, I just want to see one. That's a sea bass. I don't think he really knows he's hooked just yet. There he goes. Now he's bouncing around a little bit. Ah, it's a sea robin. First of the season. Nice to go a few trips without getting one of these red rats. I like the pinch on the bottom, right between the rise. See all those spikes? So you gotta grab them. Sometimes it makes it a little difficult getting the hook out, but makes for a lot easier of a you don't have to worry about your fingers too much. Now we definitely have to do a little tight pedal into the wind. If we didn't pedal, we'd be doing like a two and a half knot drift with this wind. Wind with the tide, I mean. A 
nice sea bass. That's swimming away. I'm almost wondering if it's a little bluefish. No. Nice little sea bass. Actually, much nicer than little. Man. Again, like I said, what a shame we can't keep these things. Gotta be careful because under here they got spikes under there. Little spines. Beautiful fish. Like I said, sucks we can't keep these things. Very good eating fish. Well, we're gonna do a few more drifts here and then move to another spot. Like I said, it's fun reeling up these sea bass, but we're looking for a fluke too. Maybe not a keeper, but at least maybe the first of the season. Don't get me wrong, I could sit here all day and catch these nice sea bass, but. Another nice sea bass. Who knows if good size if he's pulling against tide and you're not really moving a whole lot. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. Nice medium. Man. What a freaking shame. Look at that fish. He's got some teeth marks on him. I got a little mustache too for my bucktail. <laughs> well, this is probably gonna be our last drift here. Now we're gonna move. We're gonna make moves. Try to get off these sea bass. I keep saying it. If I don't actually do it, I'm never gonna do it. It's just so much fun catching these things, man. It'd just be so much better if you could actually keep them. They're everywhere. It's just. I'd like to hear one logical explanation. Why? that you have to wait till the middle of June to keep these things. That's why. They're everywhere. Everywhere you fish, they're becoming the modern day sea robin, just they're good to eat. I mean, I guess sea robins are good to eat too, but it's gotta be some sort of crazy reason why they, they don't like, I mean, they're here in like early May. I could have I could have eaten 50 of these things already. Oh, I missed the reel. Oh, that was a nice one. Dang. It's nice to see how big he is. He's back. He couldn't resist it. I know you're looking at it. Just take it. There he goes. Boom, got him. This thing's a feisty, man. When you, when you drop one, just drop back down. They're usually right back on it. <laughs> Not as nice as I thought it was. Probably a shmedium. Yep, a shmedium. Oh man, he took my gulp and everything. Dang. All right, we're making a move. Had enough. Let's just try to get some on some. Let's try to go get on some fluke. All right, finally here. Let's get down on the bottom. I'm sure there's probably going to be sea bass here, but hopefully there's a couple fluke mixed in. I think we got our first fluke. Feels like a good one too. Oh shit. Oh yeah. It's a keeper too. Woohoo! 
first fluke of the season, baby. He's, he might be touching 19. I think he's 19. Oh man, it's nice. Get that leaf out there. Nice to see you guys again. Season right. leaf, not definitely a keeper. Oh yeah, 19 and a half. He's going on the stringer. First one of the season, baby. So the limit is still four fish at 19 inches. Come straight on the stringer. Make sure the stringer is attached. So we had a little situation, I think it was last year. Doormat, door, doormat heartbreak. Lost a very nice, probably seven to eight pound fluke because I put them on the stringer and the stringer wasn't attached. I'll put that video in the top right hand corner so you guys can enjoy that. I still have a little bit of heartbreak. To, wow, look at this. He's got a whole squid, squid in his mouth. I'm not sticking my fingers in his mouth. It's got my gulp. Let me watch this. Here's my gulp. <laughs> There's a squid head. It's probably the rest of the squids down in his belly, but we're gonna put that on the hook. Try to get another one. Look at that. That's a nice fish. I love these things, man. They these are gonna be a good eating fish, man. I'm pumped. Just thinking what we're gonna do for dinner. Now I know what I'm doing for dinner. <laughs> well, me and my wife. Very cool. So this is that squid head that fluke kick spit up. Obviously gonna put that on the hook. Another fluke. Another fluky, I don't think he's a keeper. Definitely a fluke. Definitely not a keeper. Whoa, there goes the bucktail. Where are you? You seem to like the squid head. That was probably our last drift. Uh, so let's make it count. Wind's supposed to steadily pick up to like 20 knots for the next like day or two. I'm gonna get out of here before it gets real snotty. Another fluke. Good positive head shakes. Is he a keeper? No, he's not. All right, probably a 16 inch fluke. Eh, like 14, what am I talking about? Nice little guy. All right guys, we're gonna call it a day. Um, I'm gonna head in. So we got first keeper fluke of the year, 19 and a half inches. Very nice dinner for tonight. Nothing like some fresh fish. Whole bunch of nice keeper sea bass. Well, would be keeper sea bass, but unfortunately we can't keep those yet until like mid June. Only a couple weeks away from that. So, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this content, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave a comment. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.